points against it. He set Brownsma in four and Maya Reichard in five. They tied for the gold medal at the last Europeans. This could be close. Well, there it is, leading them out, Marina Podobna in lane number one. She was a great shot in the 50 freestyle. It was a shock to herself. I saw her interview afterwards. She was hoping for a medal. She couldn't have dreamed that she won the gold in a world record time. A world record from lane six just shows that as long as you've got a lane in these races, you've got a chance. You don't have to be in those centre lanes. Here is Marina Podobna. Her confidence will be sky high. Going to have her work cut out though to challenge the leaders in this one. Tiana Platanova from Slovakia. Youngest in this field. There's Jana Breshna. She's a Ukrainian swimmer. She a chance at the medals, but here's Lisette Bronsma, the European record holder and the reigning European champion. She shared that European title with this lady, Maya Richard from Sweden. Tina Ravolini, Italian swimmer goes in lane number six and uh, Katerina Tachuk from Ukraine is in lane number seven. Seven swimmers on the start list for this women's 100 breaststroke SP11 and Set Brownsma and Maya Richard, well they will be the favourites for this one Anna Brezhna was the bronze medalist at the last European Championship so all the medalists from the last Europeans are here Set Browns Mark, European record holder in lane four. Padubna got good reaction time off the block there, but up after the underwater phase, it is Maya Richard in lane five with a slight advantage over her what feels like long term rival, but over the last couple of years, especially Brunsma of the Netherlands. Oh, Jana Brezhna going very well in lane number three. I wonder if she can cause another shot. We saw the Ukrainian Podobna take the gold medal yesterday. Brezhna going very well. Maya Russia just losing ground there. Swedish swimmer in that yellow cap. But it is Jana Brezhna who's going to be first to this turn there with 39.82. Yeah, we see there Brezhna a different stroke to the swimmers in the centre lanes. A longer glide, a stronger glide. Quickest, faster rate coming from Brusner and Richard. And actually, at the moment now, Richard, Richard dropping back as Brusner's putting on the challenge. Well, Jana Bereshna and Lisette Brownsma, they are absolutely together. They're side by side. I'm sure they will be able to feel the water across the lanes there. Lisette Brownsma just maybe edging it. But Jana Bereshna, with that long and strong breaststroke, is gasping for air there. As she comes into the finish, Lisette Brownsma is just about edging it here. And it is going to be go to the Netherlands if she can get the finish right. And she does. A 126-6-0. Jana Bereshna will take the silver medal. And Maya Richard will take the bronze. But it was a great swim. In the end, it's Lisette Brownsma. She will take the gold. And the Netherlands fans can celebrate. Well, Lisa Hebrausma is the European champion. She will have heard the announcements here in the arena. Her coach is not allowed to tell her what the result was. She wasn't allowed to, well, she wasn't able to see the scoreboard, obviously. So she'll be listening to the announcements here in the Aquatic Centre. And what a hard fought win that was. Yeah, and we see that Brisna moving into the centre lane as we approach the final five metres because she was so close to Brisna that they run the risk of kicking each other. But what a final, what a finish, and what an exciting race. Well, the tapper's doing the job there in the closing stages. Brisma just reaching for the wall. There wasn't much in it at all, but it was enough. Lizette Brownsma is a European champion. Lizette Brownsma takes gold for the Netherlands. She was in ahead of silver medalist Jana Bereshna and the bronze to Maya Reichard of Sweden.